To disable legacy credentials on an HID Signo or iClass SE reader, you will first need to open the HID Reader Manager app. You will then need to connect to the reader via Bluetooth or NFC inspection. Scroll down and select Detail Configuration. If prompted, power cycle your reader. Select the Credentials tab and deselect the relevant credentials using the toggles for each credential type to be disabled. Press Add to the template. You will then be taken back to the Detail Configuration page where you can press Apply Selected Items. The configuration will now be applied to the reader. To change an HID Signo or iClass SE reader from Wigan to OSDP, you will first need to open the HID Reader Manager app. You will then need to connect to the reader via Bluetooth inspection or NFC. Scroll down and select Detailed Configuration. If prompted, power cycle your reader. Select Communication Protocol. Deselecting the Wigan toggle will automatically enable OSDP. OSDP settings are primarily dependent on your PAX controller. You will need to confirm if your system supports OSDP version 1 or 2, what addresses are available on the OSDP bus, and what board rate your controller supports. Select your relevant spec compliant setting. We are selecting V2. Set the desired OSDP address of the reader. We are leaving the reader default at address 0. Select Add to the template, then press Apply Selected Items. The configuration will now be applied to the reader. To apply a MOV or ICE key to an HID Signo or iClass SE reader, you'll first need to open the HID Reader Manager app. You will then need to connect to the reader via Bluetooth or NFC inspection. Scroll down and select Detailed Configuration. If prompted, power cycle your reader. Select the Keys tab and select Add Keys. Select the relevant MOB or ICE key from your list of authorised keys. If you don't see any keys authorised, please refer to our video, How to Set Up the HID Reader Manager App. If you see the required key, select it then press Add to Template. You will then be taken back to the Inspection Report page where you can press Apply Selected Items. The configuration will now be applied to the reader. Returning to the inspection report, we can now refresh the page by clicking the icon at the top right of the app. Once refreshed, scroll down to the Administration Configuration section to verify that the mobile key has been successfully loaded.